I'm often asked, how do I transition from horizontal vinyl siding to Portsmouth shake? And the answer is, as with many of the aspects of the vinyl siding installation process, there's more than one way to do this. First, the one thing that all these methods have in common is that you have to terminate the vinyl siding and begin again with the Portsmouth shake. And that's because the Portsmouth shake and the vinyl siding will not lock directly together. The most common and probably the easiest method to use is to terminate the vinyl siding as you would normally along the top of a wall and that is with a piece of J-channel and then inside the J-channel a piece of finish trim or utility trim and then a piece of flashing to keep the water out and the starter strip for the Portsmouth Shake product. Notice that the Shake starter strip is up off of the surface of the flashing a bit and the reason for that is we need enough space that we can get the bottom lock underneath the starter strip and then up and fully engaged. Keep in mind that this distance on the back of the lock varies a little bit depending upon which Portsmouth shake panel you're installing. Another method is to terminate the vinyl siding and use a piece of batten mold trim as the transition. In this method, first of all, terminate the vinyl siding and secure it by creating about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half long slots using a nail slot hole punch and then place the batten mold trim over top of that panel holding it up about a quarter inch from that cut. Once you have the batten mold trim installed you can install the shake starter strip. Now remember that with the shake starter strip you do need to hold it up from the inside of that pocket far enough that you can get the panel down in, locked, and fully engaged. In this method I used a Royal Conceal cellular PVC trim board that actually has the pocket already rabbited out so they're great for this type of thing and I put the utility trim or finish trim inside of that pocket and then used my snap lock tool and I'm able to then finish off the siding again putting the flashing over top of that and then holding the shake starter strip up the appropriate amount so that I can uh, fasten or get the uh, the shake locked up into it and then fasten the shake and continue on. Now these were only a few of the many methods that you might use to transition from horizontal vinyl siding to Portsmouth shake. Whatever method you use, remember the vinyl siding does have to terminate and then the shake begins again. And secondly, make sure to use all the other standard installation practices for whatever products you're using.